Hi students, Logan Phillips here. I'm your professor for this semester. All right, this video is a walkthrough of our SimNet environment. All right, SimNet is where all of your actual assignments, exams, SimPaths, SimBooks, your ebook, everything exists outside of your syllabus quiz and your introductions and my personal instructional videos. Those exist on Blackboard. SimNet is going to be where you're spending the bulk majority of your time. So let's jump in and see how and where SimNet is connected from. Uh, let me jump into our Blackboard site here. In Blackboard, on the left-hand side of your screen, you're going to find the word SimNet. Now this is our link to get to everything that we need to do our work. Now once you've clicked on SimNet, down towards the bottom you're going to see McGraw Hill and SimNet and this is where you can actually access and go to your McGraw Hill SimNet course so if you click on, click on the go to McGraw Hill SimNet course it's going to bring open our SimNet active course now I'm going to switch over to student view real quick this is our real class you can see the names are the same it's PowerPoint multimedia this is an eight-week course it's from the spring of 2000 or the spring semester 2016 and you can see our CERN number and our section numbers here. Now SimNet is one of the easiest environments to actively work in. Everything is based on simulations, which is why we have simulations network. Now on the left hand side, all of your assignments are going to be set to the pacing schedule. Now the pacing schedule is available on Blackboard, but for the assignments and the pacing schedule in SimNet, the important thing to remember is there is one deadline that is absolutely required. That is the final Tuesday of class um, the final week when anything not submitted by 11:59 p.m. the final Tuesday class will be or reverted to a zero and you'll lose all your points. Now in the top right hand corner we have a calendar. On your calendar you will find all your assignments that are due and what date I suggest you accomplish them by. If we go back to our SimNet home which you can accomplish by clicking on the word SimNet on the left hand side you can see all the assignments you can then also break them down into the things that are coming due soon the things that you have submitted or into individual pieces yeah, so if you want to go into our sim books you can click on sim book specifically now i started with sim book because there's a few pieces that i need to talk you through now the sim books are divided into graded and ungraded pieces of our class so let's open up sim book chapter one creating and editing presentations now, once you click open it, it's going to show you exactly what's due. And if you scroll down, it will show you what pieces are due and what points are associated with them. So like 1-1 creating and opening and saving presentations is valued at four points. While pause and practice 1.1 create and private station is valued at no points, none. So this is not a required. Now it's still there. You can still accomplish it if you would like to go a further in depth. But for this class, this particular assignment piece is not going to be graded. Now once you've accomplished something it will check mark it and tell you what your grade is and how you've done. Everything in SimNet you have three attempts on and if you need more attempts just ask me I'm more than happy to give you more. This is all based on repetition. The more times you do an assignment the more you're going to remember about it. So if you need an additional attempt just let me know. So let's go ahead and open up the sim book itself. If I click open sim book, I'm going to be able to go through all the individual pieces. If I click on the individual pieces down below, I can go directly to that section. So if I open up my sim book, the first thing you're going to see is our chapter overview and our learning outcomes. These are what I'm expecting you as a student to be able to accomplish once you've completed this particular chapter. Now, you can navigate your sim books by the right and what will be a left arrow on the right hand and left hand side. But you need to make sure you come down and uh, make sure scroll all the way down in your sim books. Now these pause and practices are case studies, they're extra work, they are ungraded. So we hit next, we have a creating an opening and saving workbook. We can scroll down and read the book until we hit these three buttons. Show me, guide me, let me try. The Show Me is a button that will have SimNet walk you through the process. Guide Me allows you to attempt it with someone helping you. Let Me Try is the actual graded piece on all of our SimNet, SimBooks, I'm sorry, on all of our SimBooks. This is the piece that you will need to click on, open up it, and do the uh, simulation. So we have here, I've opened up the simulation for here. 
It's going to give me instructions of what I need to do. Open the backstage view and create a new blank presentation. So I can go file and I'm in backstage view, new blank presentation. It will tell me if I'm correct or incorrect. If you've done it wrong, it's going to give you two more attempts to accomplish that step. Now, once you've done it, all you gotta do is choose, I right, click to close and let me try. And when you go back to your grades, we can close this here. It will now show you as completed on that section. So the chapter overview, I accomplished creating opening and same presentations. I earned one of the four possible points. So make sure you're opening those up and doing the let me try. The let me try is the graded portion. Now, if you get down here, you see chapter summary, check for understanding, guided projects. These are ungraded here because they are separated out on your main homepage. If I come back over here to assignments on the top right hand corner, we have exams and there are three chapter exams and one comprehensive exam. Now, I will say about the comprehensive exam, it covers the entire SimNet environment. You also have an alternative. If you want, you can go to the West Campus and take the PowerPoint MOS certification in the West Campus Testing Center. It is a free test to take because you are one of my students. If you take it, no matter if you pass or fail it, I will convert the score for your final exam to 100%. If, but that requires you sending me the information that you have indeed taken the SimNet MOS or the PowerPoint MOS test at the West Campus. They will send you an email uh, right after you take it. All you have to do is forward that email to me and you will get the full points for your final comprehensive exam. Your projects are divided into two types of projects. Uh, they are guided projects and independent projects. Now, if you're running on a Macintosh computer, some of these can be accomplished for Mac. Once you go into a project, I've opened up Chapter 1, Guided Project 1-2. The options for downloads, the very first thing you'll do is download your instruction file. These are the steps that you will accomplish using this instruction. Notice that you can use Windows Office 2013 or Office 2016. If you're running Microsoft or Macintosh, you'll want to look for the one that has the Apple and be able to use all Office versions. So this is your instruction file. These are your start files. So you'll need to download both of those. Once you've completed the task and followed through all the instructions, you will then upload your file using the Upload My File button. And then once it's submitted to Upload My File, you will submit your file to grading. Now you have three attempts on any of your projects. After you completed a project, it will show you what you have done correct or incorrect. And after that, it will show your grade at the very bottom and how many attempts you've had and what your submitted files were. All right, so make sure you're clicking on the instruction file and the start and resource files. These are there to help you through. Now I'm gonna go back to my assignments and I'm gonna come down here to my sim paths. Now sim paths are the bulk of work in this class. You have pretest, lessons, and post-test. Now how this works, the pretest and lesson are not required you can choose to skip both of the pretest and lesson, but that will cause your post-test to be dramatically larger. So as an example, if you have 20 questions on your pretest and you pass 10, your lesson will have shrunk by 10 questions, your post-test will have shrunk by 10 questions. Anything you pass on the pretest is not required to be taken on the lesson or the post-test. Your pretest is the only piece in the entire student environment where you have one attempt. If you open and close it, that will count as your attempt. I cannot open pretest for any reason. So if you accidentally open and close it, you lose internet connection and open and close it. That is your attempt. I'm afraid I cannot open it again. You will have to do the full lesson and the full post test. And I, I said before, I made a mistake. The post test and the lesson are worth points inside the SimNet environment. And you can see here, it will tell your pretest results, your lesson results, and your post test. Come back up into my assignments. And resources are play information and files that I have found well that will help you. They are not graded, they are just here for more information. Now, as a SimNet student, one of the great things you have is that you only have to buy this code one time and you can take any of the courses I offer. It's computer Concept, PowerPoint, Word, Access, uh, Excel, or any of the Microsoft suite. And as a SimNet student, you can access these books for now on. You do not ever have to purchase another book. Uh, and once you've graduated, you can even come back to this website and reference your study material 
even into your career path. So by taking this class, you buy the code one time, you get a plethora of other courses that can lead you to certificates, uh, both MOS certification, which is worldwide accepted for Microsoft, and TCC certifications, which is pretty well accepted across the board as well. Uh, to get back to your main screen, it's always assignments. And just a quick view, you can switch this from tiles, you can turn it into list, depending on what your preference is. The rocket is a launch button. Uh, so that will open up that particular assignment. Uh, the do will tell you when something is due, uh, how it's due, and you can always click on any of the individual assignments, look at your due soon, your submitted, or any of that information. All right, guys, this is the SimNet environment. If you have any questions, my email is loganperiodphillips1 at tulsacc.edu. You can call me at 918-595-7451, or, of course, you can come to my office at the Northeast Campus in room 2110. I, I am here to help you. I want to see you guys succeed. If you have questions, let me know. If you don't let me know, I can't help you because I don't have any information. I guess, as Jimmy Buffett always says, have a very fruitful day. Bye, guys.